Hello, I thought I'd take a break from some bigger projects I'm doing right now to uh, do an update to the beveled extrude modifier. Uh, there's a few updates here including a beveled weight load which will allow you to um, edit the mesh a little bit less destructively. So here we go, if I just subdivide a standard cube here, I'll ramp up the subdivisions here. That's by hitting the W key. And then I'll just make a standard selection here I'll miss out the middle face selection just to show you the effect in fullest form. So if I press space and start typing beveled, you will see the beveled extrude interactive load. So moving the mouse up and down will use the uh, will change the height. But here I'm also moving the mouse wheel to change the subdivisions. Um, and here the Q and A keys will now change the top of the bevel effect. Here. So I'm just increasing Q and A whilst still in interactive mode. Here I'm hitting the W and the S keys to change the corners of the bevel there. And um, all the while I can still move the mouse. But here I'm hitting the E and the D keys uh, to change the base <coughs> uh, extrude, oh, sorry, bevel. And there, I'm hitting the R and the F keys to change the taper of the um, end bevel effect. All the while, still in an interactive mode, I can still move the mouse up and down. So hopefully that will give you um, a bit more power um, while you're creating the uh, extrusions um, uh, in or out of the mesh. So here I'll show you the bevel weight uh, mode, uh, which uh, I've... I, I've uh, added a bevel modifier instead here and changed it to weight there on the bottom. And here, I'm now if I hit T, you can see the bevels disappear. But that's because it's now in weight mode. So if I hit Q and A there, uh, perhaps increase the segments on the modifier there, I'm not actually changing the the the, the underlying mesh apart from the, just the simple extrusion. Uh, and hitting T there again, I'm just increasing Q and E, I'm changing W and S there, and then E and D, I'm changing there. Um, so that's actually just doing a standard extrusion, but actually changing the bevel weights. Uh, so hopefully that will be um, of great use to you, so you can uh, change things a little less destructively and tweak the bevels after. So here you can see the new interface that I've uh, written for this. So <clears throat> includes all the standard options, but I've changed uh, it so you can swap toggle between the amount and weight mode uh, here. So the amount mode is the is is um, full of the standard options, and all this is documented on the Blender Market website. <clears throat> uh, you can change the profile and, uh, and everything as before, and uh, there's just all the standard options you get with some of the bevel parameters. Now hopping over to weight mode you can see it change into weight mode on the, in the viewport area and here you can also manually change the parameters of the bevel weights for the base corners and top. And then in the other options I, you can change the side segments as well of the bevel as, uh, as before. Uh, you can still extrude things individually and you can also apply um, smooth shading to the extrusion now as well as a, as a checkbox. Uh, so I hope you find that useful. All this is documented and there's some screenshots of the keyboard shortcuts on Blender Market. Uh, so uh, on to my bigger projects again. Thank you.